Jordan Bufin. The thing I like about that strategy, like right there, he was four tenths of a second faster, or half a second faster than the guy behind him. So I, I think it's easier to pass at the end of these runs. We got one spinning around off turn four. Uh -oh. That car gets straightened out and down to the apron, but caution, caution waves Fire for B.J. McLeod. Younger. Driving Wait, for right Carl Long. Last year, McLeod was one, had one of the NASCAR charters, but he's got a right front down and sold that charter at the end of the season, so he is running a limited part-time schedule this year. Here's what happened to the Florida driver off turn four. Looked just like William Byron yesterday. Just gets to that three-quarter mark uh, in the corner and back stepped out on him. Tire blew it after the fact when he was sliding sideways, so it was not the cause of the wreck. Spin, I should say. Well, that is a benefit to Justin Allgaier, who was ahead of the leader when the caution came out, and Jimmy Johnson. First car one lap down, we'll get the free pass. He'll come around under caution and get back on the lead lap. Good job, Justin Allgaier. That is a, an aggressive move by him, bold move by him. Getting into that car, that's big. Now, before that all happened, here's the radio from number five. Remember, cleaner air right here is going to be a little freer into one. They anticipate that. Very proud of you. Very proud of you. Great job. Right now, William ran at 70. You ran at 30. No line. That man is always looking forward, Kevin. Cliff Daniels. As soon as he got in that clean air, he was keeping him up to date. So what Cliff was telling him was he his last lap before that transmission was four tenths of a second faster. Yeah, I mean, he just drove by those guys. Like, he, he got his lap back the old-fashioned way. And then you say those guys. Who was those guys? The leader of the race. Oh, the leader William of the Byron race. and Ty Gibbs. Uh, pretty impressive. There'll be a short run to the end of the stage. And the battle for the next free pass. Keep an eye on Kyle Busch, Tyler Reddick, Todd Gilliland. A lot of these really guys, Kevin, were looking for an adjustment. Needed this caution. A lot of loose race cars out here. Well, and no, not knowing what they want for the strategy as, as you go further into this race, some guys are going to be targeted. We've heard William Byron and Rudy Fugel talk about their car intentionally coming here freer to make that car turn through the center of the corner. I think a lot of these guys want to be able to free, but as as we go into night and as the track changes, you know, you got to be able to be versatile to, to be able to go in whatever direction that swings it. Hopefully, loose doesn't get looser. Yeah, adjustability in that race car. You have to be able to have a car that answers the call. If you tighten it up, it needs to be able to answer it. First caution flag pit stop of the day coming. Lead lap cars, head for pit road. Josh? Let's start with the 19 of Martin Truex Jr. Really likes his one and two, but sitting in three and four, he feels like he's on top of the track. They're going to make an adjustment to help him out in one and two and not hurt the other side of the track. Christopher Bell in the 20 car right now feels pretty good, but he can't pass as good as, as, good as he would like because he's just a little bit too free in the right body, not great on the 20. The 24, William Byron to the free side right now. They are going to leave it alone, though, expecting a shorter run right now. Jamie? Ty Gibbs in the 54 just got prettier as he ran. Frustrated, he lost the lead. They reminded him about three hours left in this race. We'll fix you up. I think he's going to get it. Yeah. What Number fixed him up was that qualifying lap. That's that, right. That 16 feet for the for the first pit stop of the timing line pays off every time you're on pit road. Thank Ty Gibbs took advantage. Ty Gibbs back to the lead under caution. 11 to go in stage one. Have you had enough of mine? On the front row as we're back to green. Good jump on that outside, but the teammates. Yeah, right here in a second. Can you see it coming right now? Look at Suarez on the bottom. Good block by Reddick. Yeah, this is when he gets really. It gets really tense from the driver's standpoint because everybody wants to get as many stage points as possible, and you got a really short run, so a lot of risk taken right here. Tricks to the bottom. In fifth place, he's got a three wide. Great push off of his teammate Bowman. Byron back to the point. Good teamwork. William Byron has three cup victories this season, but no stage wins. He won stage one of the 600 here last year. Points back through 10th place. 
at each 100 lap mark of this race. Josh Berry right there, pushing the back of uh, the 23 car Bubba Wallace off into turn one. 